Hey everybody, Happy New Year. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional and I'm so glad you've come to join me again right here at the beginning of the year. We're going to continue to open up the Word of God and just explore and let the Holy Spirit minister to us. Amen. This week I want to talk to you about the Lord's Prayer. It comes from Matthew chapter 6 um, starting with verse 9 through 13. Now I want you also to know that many times people referred to Jesus as um, rabbi, which means teacher, and he was a great teacher. And I know for a fact as a teacher myself, I, you know, when I was training cutting horses, I had to teach non-pros and amateurs how to ride a horse. Now, nobody rides the same, and every horse is different. So when I tried to teach them, I, I tried to give them information that they could apply to their style of riding or to that horse, the style of horse that he was. But every time it's going to be a little different. In fact, every situation you get into is a little different. So what I did was I gave them some, some information that kind of is general to help them in, in developing their own techniques. Well, it's kind of the same thing here. Because it starts off this way in verse 9, it says, In this manner, therefore, pray. In other words, this is a model prayer. It's not a prayer that Jesus said, hey, pray this way all the time. He said, no, this is an example. This is a model. This is how you should pray. Therefore, in this manner, pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into, te into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, again, I want to remind you this is a model prayer. This is giving us some information on how to pray and, um, uh, and the attitude we should even have when we pray. We're going to break this down now, so we're going to start with our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. It's amazing that God, uh, that Jesus would do this right from the get-go. He says, our Father, not my Father, but our Father. In other words, the Father that he has in heaven is our Father. He came on earth to open that door to allow us to have a personal, intimate relationship with Almighty God. We see in Romans chapter 8 and verse 15, Paul says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Now, Abba there actually means Daddy personal, intimate relationship with God, Daddy Father or Daddy God. In other words, again, we can, we can be personal and intimate with him just like you are with your, your earthly father. You call him Daddy. You know him by name. You know who he is. You know him as a person. And it's the same thing with, with God the Father or Daddy God. Also in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, And because you are sons... Who glory. If you haven't made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, you need to today. Why? Because when you do, you become the Son of God. Amen. God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Once again, when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, His Spirit takes up residence within you and cries out, Abba, Father, Daddy, God. He's that intimate and that personal. And you need, many people say, well, I don't even know how to talk to God. Do you know how to talk to your dad? Well, it's the same thing. This is daddy God. This is a personal, intimate God that wants a relationship, personal relationship with you. The scripture goes on to say, hallowed be your name. This is very important for us to understand too, because it's speaking of his position as God. Even though he is Daddy God, we need to honor him as father. We need to respect and revere him as father. We need to submit to his authority as father. And that's what it means there. Hallowed be your name, your position. I will honor and I will revere and I will submit to. Amen. So again, He's personal. He's intimate. You can come to him. Jesus has opened up the door that you can have a relationship with him every single day. But we still need to respect and honor his, his place as Father God. All right, I hope that makes sense. Again, study this out, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek Daddy God and serve him.